With movies like Avatar, 3D technology is growing more and more popular. Now a local film company is jumping on board. And as Teresa Lalonde reports, the technology has the potential to push BC's film industry into another dimension. Look, there's stuff blowing up. Imagine seeing this thing crumble apart in 3D. A BC production company is attempting it. They're getting ready to film the demolition of the massive Fonte Nova Stadium in Brazil next month. It's a documentary for National Geographic. We're going to be around heavy equipment. Uh, we're going to be with people that don't stop to do interviews with us. We have to follow them and we'll have rigs like this tracking all these guys. And Parallax has been testing with their 3D film technology and we've got a sample for you now. So if you've got a pair of blue and reds, put them on. Here's a Victoria street scene with cars quickly rounding corners. Filming in 3D is more challenging, especially if you're filming demolitions. No second takes and twice the amount of equipment. The technology has been used in BC for feature films such as Tron Legacy, but that's when the US film company brings the equipment with them to shoot here. Residents here, technicians, are being trained on how to operate the 3D cameras and all the 3D the monitoring devices, but as yet, uh, they, I don't believe that there is any equipment here on a permanent basis. It's too expensive. Herring believes he's the first local filmmaker to buy the equipment, but expects more will follow because audiences will eventually demand 3D on all forms of film, feature and documentary. Once you see it in 3D, it's the way we're, we realize we're really meant to see this material, you know, with that depth. You know, look at the world around us. We're looking at it with two eyes. We're not looking at it like this. Feature film is one thing, television another. Canadians aren't expected to be able to access 3D TV programs in a big way for five years until the cable companies are able to expand the signal strength it needs. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, White Rock.